here's another tip. When you come to these resorts, if you don't know this already, and you might already, but um, when you come to the pool, you get, everybody gets to the pool um, at like 6 a.m. To, to stake their claim on their lounge chair. So if you want a, a lounge chair, you can see right here, they're all got towels on them, which means that these have already been staked claims on their uh, on their lounge. So you want to come early and get your, if you want to hang around the pool. I mean, you get a lot of beach out there, a lot of water, a lot of activities. We didn't spend much time around the pool um, when there's this beautiful, this much beauty in the area. Tonight's our first night in Cabo San Lucas. Tonight we're eating at a place called The Office. You know, it's it looks like it's kind of part of our hotel. And I can't remember the name of the hotel, but I'll show you that later. I'll take some pictures of our meal, show you what it's like. But for now, I'm gonna go eat. It's been all day. Things. What is that? That's the soup. Not a glass bottom boat. This is a glass boat. So a fishing boat like this, which holds up to 10 people, is $6,000 for a 10 hour day. Which if you divide that by 10 people, that's 
Not bad, and you're on, you're in class act fishing there. That's, that's about as best it's gonna get. Here's kind of an example of how many water taxis there are that'll take you out to uh, some of these beaches that aren't accessible by foot. Usually 10 to $12 per person round trip. So now that we've um, been to Cabo and we've kind of seen uh, what kind of happens here, what I would do um, when coming here for like fishing excursions or whatever, um, get here um, and then come in the morning and look or just talk to the vendors. There's vendors everywhere. Everybody wants to talk to you. Everybody wants to uh, sell you their boat. Uh, what I would do is um, talk to some of them, get to see their boat, and then decide, uh, and then maybe see a few. Don't don't just go with the first one. I would see a few and look at the boat, look at the price. There's different prices everywhere. They all charge between 600 and 1,000 for a, like a normal six person boat. Um, I've seen it go as low as 300 for four people on a small boat, go fishing, but I don't think they take you out quite as far. Um, and you're probably not gonna catch the big trophy fish like the marlin. Um, uh, so that's kind of how I would approach it, I think. Come the day before, the day before you're gonna go fishing and kind of bargain with, um, with them a little bit, see their boat, see if you like their boat. Uh, Cause there's literally thousands to choose from it's incredible there are so many fishing boats here that you could choose from anywhere from three hundred dollars for a, a short half day to i saw a boat um a guy was telling me it was six thousand dollars for up to ten people and it's a 10 hour trip so it's you're gonna go out and catch great fish and just have a, a luxury you're gonna be there uh fishing be a luxury which is kind of so that's kind of the way i would so this first big boat on the right is kind of just a party boat, um, $2,500 an hour. And you go out, it's a minimum three hours to go out. And um, you just they tell them wherever you want to go, they'll take you kind of a thing. Uh, just You're just in the restriction of time. Uh, so that was kind of a party boat. The run next to it to the left there, that's the one I took a picture earlier. That one's $6,000 for an all day fishing excursion. If you want to go class act. I'm gonna to try to get on some of these boats and see if I can take some pictures. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Um, it's not really easy to, to get on and because you know, the, the owners aren't necessarily here. You have the, I call them brokers, the people who are brokering all the boats. Um, um, I Just right down here at these gates, right? So here's a, there's a day get to get on. They're all locked, you can't get onto the boats, of course, because they're all, I mean, these are high-end, high, high-end high boats. They don't want you. Uh, people just walking around down in there, of course. But um, yeah, you want to go fishing, you want to go class act down here. Uh, you could do, like I said before, you could do anything from 300 for a small fishing trip to, to 6,000 for a, a, a class act fishing trip. So it's kind of up to you. I mean, these are a lot of beautiful boats down here and they are for rent on excursions. So here we have a, a seal taking a siesta in the morning out on the, out on the dock. You see these guys are everywhere down here. So I can't get a real good picture of this boat, but I'm gonna call this one the Despicable Me. <laughs> it goes way out the back low, and is really big out the front. I wish I'd get a better picture of it. It's got a funny looking boat. Don't know what it is, kind of interesting. Well, no.